Justin! Ditto. How do you feel about all these cuts? My frame rate isn't high enough to enjoy these cuts. So I, that I is a real like shame. A this this process that we've me. figured out um, for sharing... Wow, I did the map again. I hit the map button, which sort of breaks the ninja flow. This this thing, we've this solution we've come up with for remote stream share dual com blasting, which is what I've trademarked it as. Uh, you can't appreciate how very, very fast Strider is. It is a very, very fast game. Um, that I have been enjoying a lot. It just came out, I guess, yesterday on PlayStation stuff, and then today on PC and uh, 360 and Xbox One. It's out on everything. Which yeah, is... you can play it wherever you want. Where do you want to play it? Because you probably can. On the toilet. On the turlet? Yeah, you probably can if you've got a small enough computer and a big enough lap. How big is your lap? Talk it's to me about that. Strider size. Is it Strider size? Um, this is Strider. It's pretty sick. It's got all kinds of fast ninja stuff in it, which I appreciate. You know what I like most about this game, and I think it's sort of its trademark steez, is that you don't have to wait between attacks. Ooh, found an upgrade. What do you mean? I mean, you yeah. just like, look at how fast that goes. Man, my controller noise is going to be unbearable during this video. Yeah. Um, but, I mean, look at that. I don't have to wait. I'm a busy man. I need to you cut things to stab. I have things to stab a hundred thousand times. Um, so on top of just the basic ninja stabbing, there's a lot of things to unlock. Um, in true new, sta <laughs> new stabs. New stab. Well, yeah, actually, because I didn't. You know what? I didn't start with this stab, or this stab. Those were both learned stabs. Um, wow. In in sort of, I hate the term Metroidvania. Um, but there really isn't anything. Where can I show where my stuff is? Oh, here it is. Uh, there's some unlockable costumes you can get, and uh, here's all I the things say, I've unlocked. I feel, like, I feel like I'm out of the loop. In terms of what? Days. Like, just in terms of video games being released, like, Strider came out, and I, until it, like, literally came out, I had no idea that they were making a new Strider. Are you kidding? <laughs> no, I feel like I'm getting really old. I think you might be, like, a super old. What are you now, like, 39? Now that I'm like way high up in the patriarchy, I like clawed my way up here. Like, yeah. I don't, I don't know. The view from up here is like it's a little foggy down there. I like the day to day ops. Sure. Um, gear gating is the term I like better than Metroidvania. That's what's going on here. You need to go to a place, but you can't because there's a gate that you can only hurt with a special attack skill that you can only learn after you go to this one place and beat that one boss. Or you like just maybe stop going places you're not supposed to. Maybe yeah. You try hey, that. hey, Strider. Those rules are there for a reason. Strider, why don't you relax? Why don't you just... um, so I sort of got the double jump, which is a a classic maneuver in the Metroidvania quiver, um, which I had to use to get over a thing. That's sort of how this game works, Justin. That's sort of how it unfolds. You, you, you just double jump over all the problems rather than dealing with them directly. You know? Um, like, why doesn't he just embrace it? He's not supposed to go there. Embrace the difficulties. Do um, something new with your life. It's amazing, actually, how, like, limited this game is, and it just tosses you into it. Like, here's how the game starts. You ride in on this, like, sweet electronic eagle, and then... Um, where am I going? And then it says, you need to assassinate this dude. That's literally it. Get on it. Go, go, get busy living or get busy killing this person. <laughs> or um, do both. Or do both at the same time, because you will need to be alive to kill him. <laughs> Almost uh, certainly. Um, it is, I mean, it's, well, <laughs> that's not how you're supposed to do that part. Uh, it's, it's fun, man. Like, they don't. I think you found a cheat. I think I found a cheat hack. Well, in a speed run, you need to get down here as fast as you can, so the trick sure. is to jump. You skip a lot of frames that way. You get, and then you jump in that laser beam, and you get evaporated. Another cheat. What's, um, the, um, what's the policy on your show as far as, like, munching vegetables, like crunchy ones? The policy is I wish you wouldn't. Um, I like games like this, and they don't... They make a surprising, like... There's not a lot of them. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, Rogue Legacy, I think, was a good example, although that wasn't especially... Uh, that's very dating. different, but... Yeah. Um, there was that... What was that I mean, one? It had swords, I guess. What was the one that? <laughs> what was the one that chair made? Uh, the Shadow, one with Shadow, Shadow City. Complex. Yeah. God, what a great title. Um, <laughs> uh, this game has all that stuff, which I like, but it also has like really sweet combat. Does it have Shadow Complexes of Finley Bale homophobia? 
No, did that? Okay. Oh, because of because of OSC. I got you. But, oh, card. Um, no, as far as I can tell, it's not an especially homophobic game. Um, it is robo robophobic because man, yeah. you kill a lot of robots. Wow, boy howdy. Uh, uh, in the one frame every few seconds I'm seeing of this, like the lighting looks pretty good. Yeah, the lighting's really great, Justin. Thank you for talking about that. You can tell when we've reached, we're scraping the bottom of the barrel of conversation topics when you start commenting on the lighting. Is this a hidden thing? Nope. Oh. It's not. Oh. I mean, I That's did just find a hidden energy upgrade. Here's what I like about games. I like progression elements that reward like my OCD nature and Strider's got those, man. It's got little health upgrades you can find everywhere, energy upgrades. It's got um, it's got a concept art that's sort of tucked away in every nook man, and every I, cranny. There's nothing I love. I think I speak for all gamers when I say there's nothing I like more than tucking my eyeballs into some concept art. <laughs> I see this this guy with a, all dressed in blue and a red handkerchief around his neck, and I'm like, where did they come up with this stuff? Uh, that's an energy event, not... God, Justin. Could you have done any preparation for this show before you came on it? I know it's not oh, like... Really I know you're do, do me a favor by being here, but... Would you like to uh, walk me through the extended history of Strider, which you botched so badly that we had to restart <laughs> this video? Strider was born in... It was first released in 1986, and it was released in 1934. It was the original comic strip. It, <laughs> he used to be called Little. He was a guest little, character on Archie Comics for a while. Little Blue Pal Stabbington, and then. Um, no, it, I mean Strider does not have to that point, Justin, as rich in story to history as I first assumed. I know he had an NES game. He had a Genesis game. He had uh, a few appearances on MVC, um, and there's not a whole lot more to him than that. But this, I think, this actually works a lot better because you you remember like I remember playing the NES version, thinking like this is the fastest, sweetest game ever. And then you go back and you actually watch footage of people playing that game, and he is like a like a grandpa with his sweet laser cane. Well, video game, I can't get past that. Um, Jesus. This part seems like it's going to be pretty bad for streaming. Yeah. Um, you haven't played this yet, have you? I guess not, since you didn't know it, you know, existed. I didn't know it came out. I mean, I'm literally, I feel like I'm getting out of the loop. That's probably, like, not a great thing to admit when you're, like, in the biz. Well, maybe if everybody who works for me could stop fucking up, like, every five minutes, I could look at a new release calendar <laughs> once in a blue moon. Yeah. Justin's favorite game is like learn the history of Strider and not make me do videos over and over again. I would have time to dip into GameSpot and get some, <laughs> get some reservations in. Um, yes, I would like to reserve that game. I did not know that was coming out. Oh, now this is the best part of Strider, Justin. It's the boss fights. You know, you like love boss fights when they're done really well. Oh yeah. Well, in Strider. You can play a game of don't get hit while you press the X button as fast as you possibly can next to the giant robot. I gotta say something, Griffin. The frame rate has picked up considerably, and it is looking nice. Yeah, what's it at again? Like, eight? No, I mean, it's like, this is probably like 10 <laughs> in frames per second. This I guy and I are in a very intricate dance right now, and it's called I'm getting punched to the left of him and then the right of him. <laughs> Whoa, what's that sweet fire eagle? Did you see that? Yeah, did you enable a cheat? Or a hacker, right? Um, I mean, I enabled the cheat of remembering that I can summon sweet fire eagles. <laughs> the competence cheat. The competence cheat. The memory cheat. What happened to him? Uh, he exploded. I Sorry, my frame rate slowed down again. <laughs> he died be because of He swords. was there and then he wasn't. Yeah. Um. Like my great-grandmother. Just one day, gone. Well, it's... I'll get it. Hakuna Matata. Hakuna <laughs> Matata, indeed. Um, that teaches you about these things, about accepting the loss of loved ones. You know what I really like about Strider? The scarf? It's not a scarf. What is it again? Uh, the dialogue clearly is super good. Um, it's set in Kha'Zix, which is like, it's Kha'Zix, and it's just like, call it that video game. Like, I'm an adult, you don't have to like try and censor yourself. So sort of like in every Call of Duty game, you're playing like, you're basically fighting against Russia. Just call him Russia, guys. Like, come on, we get it. Come on. 
Um, I love how it's unskippable. Those little uh, bars that appear to the bottom where the dialogue shows up on, that will happen sometimes in combat, and it's really hard to see through. Because, like, all the actions kind of happen at the bottom of the screen, guys. Um, that's kind of a bummer. No, what I really like, and I think every sort of gear gate like game um, should have, is you can see up in that map in the top right corner, I've got a little arrow telling me where I'm supposed to be going. Which, um, you know, it's super easy to get lost in these kinds of games. So yeah. having something that stops you from getting lost is pretty handy. Yeah, because then you don't get lost. Because then you don't get lost. Come on, guys. I'm doing a video. That would be, that would make me more apt, I think, to go looking for gear. Because, like, a lot of times with these games, I don't waste time looking for collectibles. What did you call them? Collectibles? I'm going to run the tape back on that one, but I'm almost certainly you didn't. You didn't say that. Um, combat is not like as brainless as it probably. Oh, that was a concept art, and I missed it. No. God, no! God, take my eyes, not my concept art. Um, if God takes your eyes, you can't look at concept. Art. I know, but Just I'll know think. that it's there. Um, I don't you think... share it with your friends. <laughs> Invite your friends over for a concept art them. party. <laughs> they describe it to me. No, it'll hurt too bad. No, I need this. Um. There we go. Um, man, it's really hard to keep it. Art. They always make things like way sweeter than they do in the game. Like I bet it in concept art for this, his scarf is like blood out. Is his scarf insufficient? You've made a few knocks about it. Is it disappointing to you in some way? What do you want I it to be? I, I'm getting one frame a second. I don't know what it's doing. Now he looks fat there. Is he fat? Can I tell you something, Justin? That's not the first time that like I've seen him do something and like his proportions are bonkers. He looks rotund. I, that belt is not doing him any favors. When he hangs, he is, whenever he's moving while he's hanging, yeah, he, he kind of... He is too hippie for that. I think we're getting him at like a weird like two quarter angle. Maybe, but like in the who wore it better between this guy and I, I don't know. Who's worn something similar to this? Uh, he's got kind of a again? cloud cloud strifey thing going. Yeah, kind of cloud strife. I feel like it was primal form thing there. Another one of these cats, huh? Uh, yeah, but this one's red. I think the last one may have been yellow. There's actually a pretty nice evolution to the combat, because I mean, it starts off with you just having to do that to guys. Um, mm -hmm. But then you get this charge attack, which you need to break shields. Sometimes you need to come When up. you don't have any enemies on the screen, the, like, my frame rate is so sweet. So if you could avoid, start avoiding them. That's actually a fun game in this game, because, like, just maneuvering is pretty sweet. Every jump you do, he never just, like, jumps in the air. He has to go, like... Yeah, he has to make, like, a big production of it, even though nobody's watching, which kind of makes you beg some questions about his psyche, I think. Who's I'm just trying, trying to, to impress? I'm just trying to get by you. Yeah, look at that. Pacifism. Do you get anything for killing them? Is there experience? Uh, you can refill your health and your, uh, your but if you ninja don't engage, mana. If you oh, don't oh, nice. Less than ideal. Uh, if you don't engage with them, you don't need to refill your health, correct? Um, that's a good point, Justin. Except that they'll shoot you to death. Let them try. No, they will. Like, they're super good at it. Try it. Catch me. Look at these sweet... Oh, man. No, I'm just... No, Justin, this is how this you is want me to do this. Cody. <laughs> I feel... Okay, you're right. This is Go, guys. Strategy. Excuse me, guys. Pardon me. Just trying to make my way. Um, when do you, you stride? I'm pretty sure I have been constantly trying this whole time. It's just hard to, like, see it in Skype's horrible screen share. Yeah. Um, anyway, we should... Uh, I'll show the challenge mode here in a second, because that's sort of the other heat that it's got going for it. I'm playing this on PC, by the way. Um, but I'm sure the other versions are fine, too. I've actually heard some frame rate issues, but I'm not sure which version of the game has the frame rate issues. Mm. So just, like, I guess Google around. I can't do everything for buy you. Buy every, buy every version. Just buy every see. version, and then one of them will be pretty good. Um, this message has been brought to you by Capcom. <laughs> yes, and, we're still a company. Uh, Justin. What? I'm just saying they haven't had a lot of hits yet. <laughs> What's this? Or, or recently. Oh, what is this? You found the Stargate. <laughs> um, I can't go through that yet. Help me, James Spader. My fire eagle does nothing to that. Um, That's really, cool. I'm like hypnotized by this thing. It's very cool. So, oh no, no, nope. I can't just enjoy the, the beautiful art of this game. See, that's what I need the concept art for. Is while you're looking at <laughs> so concept you art, back. you're not being shot to death. Okay, you know what we're gonna do, actually. 
You're not gonna look at this concept art together. <laughs> I just want to see one where his scarf is like crazy. Yeah. See, that's how it starts. You can see. You see that arrow? Yeah. That denotes. He's going down. That denotes um, movement. Um, anyway. I want to see more concept art. Feed me, Seymour. We got. Um, I mean, that's sort of what his abilities look like. That's sort. So this one's interesting. Um, those are. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's look at the city gate. Oh, that is. Oh, they. They really realized that in, uh, I would say, a fairly accurate form. Um, that is what the final product I think looks like. Oh, yeah. option C. This is the fire eagle ability that um, we were talking about earlier. Let's hop into a challenge mode, though. This frame rate is so bad, I can't even look at concept art well. <laughs> uh, see the city. So there's uh, a few other challenge modes. I've only unlocked this one because uh, this is all you get for playing for two hours. Um, but it's sort of a survival horde mode, and it's you know what it is. It's no fluff, no filler. It's just me showing people how good at at this game is. I, I I keep trying to say Shinobi, but you know what, Justin? It's not Shinobi, is it? That's what I should have used for the Who Wore It Better joke. God damn it! Um, so funny. I can tell you who played it better. Nobody. Than you. Than, than me, I meant. Sorry. Do you want to know something, Griffin? Yeah. Something really cool. When I was uh, younger, probably about your age, I was at the mall and a lady asked me if I wanted to. It, there was like a server. I remember that. See, okay, I wanted to bring this up, but because I, I thought maybe it was a fever dream, but no. this actually happened. There was a survey lady and she asked me if I wanted to give my feedback on a, a game. Uh, before it was released, and it was like, it was Shinobi for the PS2. It was like the sweetest thing that ever happened to me. So, in our last take, when I suggested that there was a Strider PS2 game, that was clearly what I was thinking. Of. That is probably what you were thinking of. Yeah, because there wasn't. There was a Shinobi, though, and if, it, if you didn't like it, sorry, that's my fault. I QA'd out all the, the good <laughs> stuff. That's weird that that happened. Why would that happen? Why would they do that? I don't not... know. Why were they trying to reach, like, West Virginia with the Shinobi? Right. That's a surprise. really weird demographic to court. And it, it was hard, actually, not to pull rank on her. Although, uh, like, you know, well, I actually uh, know a thing or two about games. But I think, I think back then I worked at Olive Garden, so I wouldn't have been sued for impressive. Well, you wanted to impress somebody about something because you worked at Olive Garden. <laughs> hey, come on now. Well, come on now. Got all the free breadsticks I could eat. You did. You got all the free breadsticks and, and then some. Yeah. I had more than I needed. I just made myself shoes out of them one time. <laughs> Did you really? <laughs> I remember you coming home from that job every day and you stank like the devil. Was that why? Because you're making breadstick uh, shoes? Water. I, uh, the OG water? Yeah, it's when you mop up at the end of the, of, of the shift and you have to hose off the floor to get all the noodle leavings and you, just, you get coat oh coat god it's called og water it was just so cute with all the noodle leavings still go there every couple of months because i don't know i like the scampi and that's gonna do it for this overview we got a little off topic i guess got a little bit sidetracked justin is there anything else you want to know about about strider is there anything else you want me to tell you about strider seemed to be really educational for you what's his last name Hitler. All right. So thanks for watching, Hitler. everybody. Uh, it's had a, it's been a really great time, as always. Justin, it's always a treat when you stop by. It's always informative, and I feel like I grow from the experience. No, it's Kevorkian. Okay. So uh, thanks for watching. We will see you guys later with more of these videos real soon. Uh, until then, uh, farewell. Oh, guy. Ah, oh, buddy. Not too much.